There's stuff to say, but first of all, I have two concerns now. The change between photochemical and film and digital, I think, is a progress. Today, the uh, digital technology is uh, qualified enough to replace what was used before in uh, film, like uh, before was uh, the painting on canvas or painting on, 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 on wood or painting on the wall and on the graffiti. This is a progress coming up. Sony F65 digital camera. That camera is able to capture 4K level of resolution, 16-bit color shade. 16-bit color capture is equal to 280 trillions of color shade. No way I'm able to see so many shade color because the technology in the projector is not at the same level of the camera. The camera is up to here when you capture. The projector is up to here. As far into the laboratory, in here, in the screen of camera image, is maximum today 4K 12-bit. 12-bit color means 60 million, 68 million of color shade compared to 280 trillion of color shade. So my my aims for future is that we should get together instead to continue this stupid fight between photochemical and digital and try to raise the technology, the, all the equipment, all the I industry at the same level that we are able to capture the image that are into the camera. Because the audience should be respected. We have to present to audience exactly what we are uh, able to perform, to capture, to make, put it together in, in a sort of film, visually a sound. The second element that is much more important in my opinion is the fact that today nobody is thinking about to preserve what we're doing today. According to Kodak specification, if you have uh, a one negative in color, very well preserved, uh, they said you can almost around 100 uh, years of, uh, of, of archive of this image. That was not necessarily true, because after the fade, the color that losing is on power, one percentage every year. So when you arrive in a 20, 30 years, you lose already 20, 30 percentage of, of the information into the color image is already quite a big damage to the images. I did the new transfer the last tango in Paris, and I feel that we lost so, so many information, yet we can never rebuild exactly the way it was the original image over there. But there was quite a number of years. Digital, uh, now everybody thinking that maybe because it's digital, it's permanent. Major mistake in the industry. Digital, without being optical, is completely impermanent. If you don't retransfer really this information from one support to another every three of maximum five years, you lose these images. So practically all the movies that we saw in this, this festival, most of this movie in, in 10 years, they will not exist. Only the one that the major company pay to retransfer really into another support, they still be alive. The rest will disappear completely probably no one will see the next generation. So this is the future of cinematography, is to put focus in two specific elements. So many cinematographers are arriving over here, they, they have the same uh, attitude of creating, and they have to also to have the art of, of preserving the company, the build equipment, the association uh, all around the world, the Imago is uh, American, Italian, French, Spanish um, associates, you know, they sh we should be all together for raising the level, presenting image at the same level of the, the video recording, how to keep in the future this information for the new generation. Thank you very much.